Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at an engine coolant temperature sensor or an ECT sensor. Uh, this is for a Toyota Camry V6 3.0 liter engine and it is for the uh, 2002 through 2006 years. Also relevant to Lexus and Avalon. Uh, as far as the ECT sensor, um, I'll show you where it's located and how I found that it can affect the idle and the starting of the car. At the end of the video, um, I'll show you some information on relays, how I check the relay for this ECT sensor, what it looks like, um, and also where the three fan relays for this car are located at the fuse box at the engine compartment. So thanks for watching, and here we go. This is the 1MZ FE engine, and I'm trying to uh, diagnose uh, an overheating problem that I'm having. So I've found a few sensors, sending units that the um, that the car has and um, I've came across one that actually controls um, the idle as well um, as the temperature uh, of the coolant so um, I wanted to point that out if you're having any trouble with uh, maybe a bad idle or even your car not starting this may be something you want to check out and uh, I'll show you where it's at so the radiator cap is over here the fill cap right there and then you have the neck here the housing right here is the connector and the sensor is right here it's a two wire uh, sending unit or, or ECT electronic coolant coolant temperature sensor is what it actually is and uh, yeah I noticed when um I had the car running and I took the connector off that it uh, it just it it idled very bad um, and that was uh, when I first started it so uh, I checked it I did that again after it warmed up a little bit it wasn't as bad so with the cold start yeah it really is uh, noticeable so a, a quick way to really test it would be to uh, to start your you know have the connector in place just start your car and then pull the connector off if there's a significant change in the way it idles then um, it's probably okay but if there's no change at all it might be something you want to look at and possibly replace um, or if it doesn't start at all because I have actually taken the connector off and tried to start this car cold and it will not start uh, before I go any further let me show you in a book that I'm uh, using a Haynes book here this is 2002 through 2006 and uh, here we go with the uh, ECT sensor um, just a brief little uh, synopsis of what's going on with it uh, let you read that pretty much if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and skip down here. It says, uh, a problem in any of the ECT sensor circuits will set a diagnostic trouble code. So um, I haven't scanned my car since I took that connector off. But uh, looking at the trouble codes over here and what I'm seeing here that could be trouble codes that you may see um, and that would be one PO 125 insufficient cooling temperature for closed loop fuel control or PO 128 coolant temperature below thermostat regulating temperature um, note that if you do take that uh, I haven't checked mine so I'm not sure uh, if it says one of these codes but I am guessing it probably does since I've taken the connector off so if you do take that connector out off you probably will throw um, one of these codes so uh, let me show you a picture here now this picture is a little different from my actual engine here um, this is supposed to be a 1M ZFE but I don't think it's the same year as mine um, mine is a 2002 so it points out the location here 
the ECT sensor and it's right there okay so it's pretty much where I showed you the only thing is that you don't want to get confused with is there's another sensor right here for the coolant uh, mine does not have that mine is actually on the other side at the um, thermostat housing so yeah just make sure that you're going with this one right here as far as the ECT goes so I'm going to go back to the uh, car and we're going to start it up and let you see kind of what's happening all right so let's start it up Okay, so yeah, what's happening here is, see, I left the connector off, so that's what I mean. It will not start. You don't have the connector on. Now let's try to start it again. Okay, with the cold start, it's probably going to stall it out, and I'm just going to uh, cool. the connector off and just listen. You hear that? It practically stalled. If I had Put the connection back on, it was going to be pretty dead. So I'm going to let it warm up a little bit, and I'll show you uh, again. Once it warms up, like I said, it's not quite as noticeable. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes here. Uh, what I want to do is uh, I want to get the temperature gauge up a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and take the connector off at that point. And I want to see if it, uh, if that sending unit uh, actually controls the gauge here as well. Uh, you can see down here I've got the VSC track off. Uh, someone borrowed this car and overheated it. And when they did, uh, that came on. So I'm going to have to try to get that off sometime as well. But uh, yeah, let's wait a little bit longer and when that gauge starts going up, I will take the connector off and let you hear it again. It shouldn't be as, uh, as noticeable as when it's cold um, and is in choke. Okay, you can see the gauge here. It's moved up, temperature gauge. Uh, idling right around 700 RPMs here. So let's go pull that connector off and uh, see if the coolant temperature gauge drops and see how far the idle drops. Alright, so maybe you didn't hear that. Let's put it back on real quick. Well, I'm not having trouble here. Okay, so here we go back on. Smooths out. It gets more erratic as I take it off. Alright, hope we heard that. Still, it's not idling too bad, but there's a. Uh, it's mainly in the when it's cold so okay so that does not affect the gauge that ECT sensor does not affect the cluster uh, gauge here idle actually is pretty good here maybe at 8 4 is like at 7 um, so you 
put it back on. See how it's a, it's a lower idle. So that's going to be it, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and turn the car off. I don't want this to overheat. I still haven't, uh, I haven't fixed that yet. But I just wanted to take a break and uh, make point that out. If anyone's having trouble with an erratic idle or cold uh, difficulty with their uh, idle during startup, ECT. Uh, might be something you want to check out. Do your own due diligence into this. Um, and uh, good luck and thanks for watching. So I have the three relays out now. One goes right here. Two goes right here. Three right here. One and three are the same relays. And relay number two is a little different. Got some alligator clips here just to test this relay to get the clicking the on off there um, and I've got you know the positive here that's the ground I've already got the ground one of these leads here and I've got clicking here so I'm gonna guess that that relay is probably okay